begin the suspension process, roll a cart of four VTX A12 cabinets into place. Remove the four QRPs attaching the top cover to the stack and place them into their storage positions. With two people, lift the top cover off and place it on the ground near the array. Next, lift the front zippers to begin removing the array cover. The front folds back over the top and the entire cover can be removed off the back of the array. Note that the cover stores neatly and evenly when folded this way. When folded as shown, the cover is designed to fit between an empty A12 wheel cart and A12 top cover for storage. Once the cover is in place, use the attached QRPs to secure the top cover to the wheel cart. The A12 array frame has been designed with a movable extension bar. Remove the two large QRPs holding the extension bar in storage position and place it to the side. Using the two side handles, lift the array frame and place it on top of the array. The array frame has four attached QRPs and those should be moved from their storage positions and used to attach the frame to the top A12 cabinet. When the frame is secure, lift the extension bar and place it in the proper attachment position. Note the A, B, and C positions and ensure that the extension bar is attached correctly according to the LAC calculation. To begin suspending, attach the single or dual point chain hoists to the shackles on the frame. For this example, we will use dual point suspension. Angles are selected while the system is on the ground. Use the angle selection QRP to preset the angles on both sides of the box. Once the array is floating just above the ground, remove the cart by first detaching the front QRPs. Then, once the wheels are touching the ground, remove the rear QRPs and gently lower the cart to the ground. To attach another stack, Roll it into position underneath the suspended array, and if you haven't selected angles, preset the angles with the QRPs along the sides. Note here that for the flatter top sections of long arrays, the suspension hardware can be pre-engaged to make connection between blocks of four easier. To attach the cabinets together, Lower the flown array until it is nearly touching the array on the cart. The cart should be slightly ahead of the flown array. Always connect the front attachment points first with the captive front QRP. Then lower the rear motor slightly to bring the rear attachment points into contact with each other and secure with the rear QRP. Follow the same steps as before to remove the cart and stack it with the array cover and top. Now we're going to use the same steps to connect the last cart of four. For more angled bottom sections of arrays, it will be necessary to attach the front points first. Then, once the array is suspended and the cart is floating, lift and pull back on the speakers on the cart. This action will bring the rear attachment points to each other, and once they are touching, the rear points can be pinned. 